Dreams of a life. A week away from general release. How does that feel? Uh, scary. It's like releasing it to the lions in a way. Releasing it to the lions, really? really? <laughs> even, even after so many positive screenings. See, I think there'll be a backlash. Really? I think. Where from? Well, you see, I wonder if when you hear things are good all the time, yeah. that you sort of start to resent it and you start to go and see something and it's never quite as good as expected. Well, it can get overhyped. Yeah. I mean, so, so there is that worry, I suppose, that people then might come to it that maybe wouldn't have naturally come to yeah, it originally and get so disappointed. Think, yeah. But it is the first film I've ever had released in the cinema. Well, so it know. feels very exciting. And it feels like a real, I think a 10 uh, cinema London release, and then it'll spread out, but a 10 cinema London release is quite a lot, mm -hmm. apparently. For, you know, so it just feels like a really exciting. No, like I'm a proper filmmaker. It's like a proper filmmaker. Yeah. <laughs> it was really grown up. It was really grown up. Could you possibly have envisaged five years ago that the film would have this kind of response, this kind of reaction? No, but I, I always knew I really, really wanted to make it from the moment I saw the article. All you can know is what you feel, mm -hmm. which is what I felt was a, a real determination. At the beginning obviously I didn't know what kind of film it would be but I, I wanted to do it but I didn't want to do it because at that point I thought oh people really need to see this. Mm. It was more internal like I need to I need to make this film yeah. and I think my thing was always to I suppose look at this story and look at how I, I could tell it. For me it captivated me and I, I never knew it would take five years though. No, no, I mean I, and uh, I'm glad I didn't know that. Now it's over that five years. It doesn't feel like long. Can you imagine the last five years without Joyce? No. You see, I think that something Joyce has done for me as well is sort of show me how committed I can be to telling a story. And she's also shown me as well that it's very, you know, how important film is. The film isn't just about, oh, I'm a director, aren't I great? Or, oh, I made this story and it made somebody cry. You know, film is a privilege to be able to make films. And in, in that way, I'm sort of really glad that they're, they're hard to make and a struggle. I wouldn't want to be kind of the golden person that gets given money because mm -hmm. I think it can corrupt filmmaking yeah. and the film. The last five years with Joyce has been you know, because when you're going through it, you, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, what am I doing because I'm not making this film? And, and then I did think, oh, I'll write the book, I'll do a book. So I started to write stuff because I thought all this stuff in here has to come out because yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah. explode or implode or something. So there were points, but I think living with her, which I did in a weird way, isn't it? And all the stuff that comes out of it beyond the film, you know, the, the stuff with family, the stuff with friends that aren't in it, and all of that has been, I think it's, it, it's made me probably more, I don't mean responsible in a way, but I, I probably make calls that I wouldn't make, mm. if you know what I mean, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had a profound effect on all these people that knew her. <laughs> and uh, you know, and I did, I do think she has on me. And so I have her to thank really, for because without her I wouldn't have made this film, but also I don't, I think I will make better films mm. because of her, because I've understood something. And I think it is the nature of a, fi a film, it, it's not just about, I have great ideas, I want to get them out there. And it's not about, I have a social issues film. It's not any of that. It's like, film can make us experience life just like music can. Yeah, yeah, and I think yeah. Joyce and what happened to Joyce, because obviously during this whole process we lost, mm. you, you know, we well, yeah. lost well, that, both parents. Sounds, you got orphaned. It, it sounds like it sounds like we left them in the post office or something. <laughs> but you're, 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 you got orphaned. You're, both got your orphaned. parents died yeah, and my mum died yeah, and I was orphaned yeah, because yeah, at that yeah, point yeah, I yeah. didn't have a dog. No. But I think during that, what's really interesting is we had kind of personal bereavement. I think there was a, a, a kind of unmentioned bond somehow. Yeah. That there was... Because, you know. because we, we knew how not how to mention it and how not to mention yeah, it, didn't absolutely. we? And we weren't embarrassed because you see a lot of people around bereavement are embarrassed yeah, and don't yeah, quite yeah, know yeah. what to say or do. But because we were both in it, you just think, what is, what is life for? 
I suppose it's made me realise that I, I do want to leave a mark and I want it enjoys to leave a mark because I think as human beings that's all we can offer yeah, to some true. extent. That's and true. some people do it by having children. Yeah. And if you don't have children, then they, your memory isn't carried on through them. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't absolutely. want children and I yeah. never have. Well, so it's like, not well, like... like <laughs> but this, yeah. is, but this, this is the second part of that same question because that, I think, is an analogy that we've used. And I've certainly felt that in the past, that you spend that period making something um, you have this intense period nurturing it, and then, and then it, you let go. Yeah. It's released, and you lose ownership of it. But at some point, um, dreams of the life will become an archive. Yeah. It will just, yeah. it will go off. Yeah. And so, in the same way of not having Joyce for the last five years, yeah. do you, how do you envisage the future without Joyce? There'll, there'll be the new. The, the, he, there'll be the next film that will be the obsession. It will just be. A yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I know what I'm not going to do, and what I'm not going to do is worry about what the film will be like I make next. No, oh, absolutely. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, I absolutely. think that's yeah, the yeah, pressure yeah, when yeah, you no, think, no, yeah, exactly. oh, this yeah. film seems to be going down quite well. Will yeah. I be able to ever yeah. do that again? Because yeah. it's not. It's not a product. And, is uh, it? and I actually, I honestly believe out of the, you're the one person who'll be able to do and do absolutely wholeheartedly, properly, if you like, because I mean, you, you, I mean, that, that, I mean that's, that's in your makeup, that's your character. Oh, you're, you're just trying to make me cry on camera. No, I'm not. I'm no, not. I don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, well, like, I mean, all I was going to say was that, I mean, in fact, from, um, on behalf of everybody that has been involved, that has got to know you, and has worked on Dreams of Life, you know, just have to say, you are an extraordinary person. No, it's an extraordinary cry. film. You can't say more. No, it's an extraordinary film. Cry. And it's a gift. You can't it's make me cry. Gift. I don't cry. Well, if I believed in the gasification, you'd be out there. Be out there, wouldn't you? No, you're right. You're just trying to make me cry. No, I'm not. You are. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be so cruel. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing to say. No.